Hello, Michael here with another RenderMan tutorial. Today we're going to be having a look at the omnidirectional camera type, which you can use to render out VR images, stereoscopic VR images, um, in the over-under format. So I've got a scene set up here already. I'll just look in the first person. Um, so the geometry in your scene doesn't really matter. You can have whatever you like. Essentially what you're just trying to do is place the camera um, where you want the viewer's head to be essentially and it will uh, render in 360 degrees um, on all axes so you can look at it in VR. So to render in VR we need to go to our render settings. Uh, the first thing we need to do is change our aspect ratio. So you want to have your aspect ratio one to one so a thousand to a thousand or a two thousand to a two thousand. Um, I think you'd probably want to render it at about 4K to get a decent looking image um, for most VR headsets. Um, but just for this example, I'm going to do it at thousand by thousand. Um, and then obviously set your uh, sampling to get it to the image quality that you like. And then under features, we'll go to projection type and we'll change the projection type to omnidirectional stereo. The interpupillary distance is essentially a measurement between the um, pupils of your eyes, so the distance between the two. Um, at 0.064, it's probably going to be fine. Uh, I know that with Oculus, you can change the, the lenses to be closer or further apart, depending on how your face is. Uh, so I think at 0.064, it's going to be very similar to what the default setting on a uh, Oculus is. So we're just going to leave it at that for now. Um, you can play around with it if you find that the vision seems to be a bit too wide or a bit too close together uh, for your face. So we'll move our camera up. I'm just gonna use a perspective camera. You can create a new camera as well. Uh, and I've got the camera visible somewhere there. So we'll move that into the scene center and we'll just reset its rotations. So you don't want to really have any rotation. You just want it to be facing. It doesn't actually matter what direction it's facing because it's gonna render in 360 degrees, but um, I just like to reset all the rotations so nothing funny happens. So set it in the middle of your scene and uh, in the perspective view it looks like it's going to be fairly close but um, you'd be surprised that uh, it actually doesn't appear as close as it does so you kind of have to get used to uh, the positioning of these things and you know scale and things like that as well. Uh, so let's quickly render that in IPR and see what it looks like. Okay so you see you get an over under image so uh, in your viewing um, software you'll need to make sure that you've got it set to over under. Um, one thing I did notice, and I'm not sure if this was because I hadn't set my project um, or saved my scene, was I was getting, my render was coming out as just a bunch of dots. Um, when I deleted my environment light um, and then rendered and then um, uh, and then rendered, it would come up correctly and then I could reinsert my environment light. Um, it did also happen when I had a different camera in the scene. Um, but once again, the same trick with the environment light worked as well. So if you're having that issue, try just uh, deleting your environment light and then rendering and then re um, putting it back in the scene and then rendering again and hopefully that will sort it out. So I'm going to render this at a decent resolution, maybe put some other stuff in the scene and then we'll jump into Oculus and have a look. All right, so here we are in virtual desktop um, and I've just loaded the image in. So what I ended up doing was rendering this out at 64 samples uh, at 4000 by 4000. So it doesn't look um, bad. Um, however, I wasn't able to denoise it. I kept running into an error. I'm not sure if that was uh, just something with my setup or if uh, it could be a bug. Uh, I'm going to investigate it further and um, I will make an update if necessary. But um, yeah, let me know if you have any issues with denoising after a batch render. But um, yeah, a batch render just uh, rendered out fine. So uh, yeah, so as you can see, just looking around, um, I've got the robot over there. Sorry if I'm a little bit quiet on the mic, I have to turn away. Um, and if I turn all the way around, you can see all the other stuff. Um, yeah, so that is a, a stereoscopic image in um, in RenderMan. It's pretty easy to do. Uh, it used to be a little bit more difficult. You, had to, you used to have to compile a thing uh, that one of the Google devs um, made, but now it's come standard, so that's nice. So render out some um, nice VR images to your heart's content now. Uh, so yeah, if you liked this uh, video tutorial, make sure you click the like button so other people can find it on YouTube. And if you haven't already, make sure you're subscribed so you can 
Uh, stay up to date with all the other videos I do a couple a week, um, all sorts of tutorials for Rendermand and other CG products. If you'd like to stay up to date further, you can check out the Facebook page, link in the description for that one. That's it for now though, thank you very much for watching and happy VR rendering.